My name is Adam Jackson. I'm head chef at the Old Deanery in Ripon. And the dish I'm going to do is halibut with charred melon, 100 Hill sparkling wine sauce with charred melon and sea vegetable. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare the halibut. Um, we trim the fish first and then we skin it and then we cut it into the portion size that we need. Um, it's usually about 50 or 60 grams. Uh, and then we salt the fish with mold and sea salt for 20 minutes just to firm the flesh up and to draw some of the water out of that. So the, the next thing we do with the dish is we put the two litres of cream into the pan and then we add the soy and all of the aromats, which are seaweed, dried, smoked dulse, uh, the fennel stalks, um, and then we bring it up to the boil. So the Parisian melons, uh, we just salt those for 20 minutes just to draw some of the moisture out and let the seasoning get inside there. So we blow torch them to get a nice scorched edge on them, which gives a nice savoury touch to the thing. We then dress it in some of the dill oil. So the dill emulsion is made from slow cooked egg yolks. We add two teaspoons of Dijon mustard and some Chardonnay vinegar, which gives it a nice acidity. We then emulsify the dill oil into there until it's nice and thick. The fish is very traditionally cooked in a pan and we cook it in a nice generous amount of butter. And then we allow that to rest for a minute before it goes on the plate. So the finishing of the sauce is probably the most important part of the dish. It's finished with some diced raw kohlrabi, uh, which we just salt ever so slightly to give it a bit of seasoning, but it adds a very nice crunch to the sauce. Has some fresh parsley in there. So a little bit of smoked butter it goes in the sauce, which gives it a nice smoky edge. The smoked dulse gives it some smoke flavour, but the butter really finishes it. And we finish it with some Petrosian uh, trout roe, which adds those little pops of seasoning as you eat it. So to plate the dish, we start by putting the optional fennel puree on there, which we put into almost a backwards moon shape. And then around that puree, we put the charred melons, alternating the colours. And then between the melons, we put some of the dill emulsion and then on top of the melon also. And on top of the melons, the fennel flowers go, which give it a really nice seasoning. And then between the melon, we put the sea vegetables, starting with the sea lettuce and then the rock samphire goes in the gaps uh, and then we place the fish alongside the garnish um, which sort of blocks the sauce in, into the garnish and then when it's at the table we finish the dish at the table by spooning the sauce into the gap between the garnish and the fish then it's just finished at the table with a little bit of dill oil which splits the sauce. But there we have pan roasted halibut with 100 hills sparkling wine sauce with charred melon, sea vegetables and dill.